Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to send an email with Python, and I'm also gonna show you how to send an email with an attachment with Python. So if that's something we'll learn how to do, let's go ahead and get on into the tutorial here. Okay, first, let's see what version of Python I'm working with. We'll do that with Python 3 dash capital V, Python 3.8.5. So I think as long as you're using a modern version of Python, the, the concepts in this tutorial will work for you. So let's go ahead and go into the Python terminal here just by typing Python 3. And now any command that we execute from this point forward will be a Python uh, Python code, Python command. So we're just gonna go through and script this. Um, I'm gonna also assume that you have access to an SMTP server of some sort. You'll see what I mean in a second, but uh, I'm, I'm using DreamHost's um, SMTP server. I have an email address with that and a password that I know how to log into it. So that's gonna be what we're actually sending the email through. Um, Okay, so let's go ahead and start typing some code here. So for for starters, let's import a couple libraries. We'll import the uh, SMTP library, SMTP lib, and we will also from email import message. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward right away. Let's define our from address to address uh, our subject and our body. So we'll say from address equals Tony at tonyflorida.me and then our to address is tony at tonyteaches.tech subject and these are just all strings all variables in python subject is i just sent this email from python and the body of the email is going to be, how neat is that? Okay, so, uh, and let's make sure we spell body right, B-O-D-Y. All right, so we have the content of our email defined. Um, let's actually create a message object, an instance of a message object, and associate these values that we just defined with that. So uh, we'll say message equals message, and we'll instantiate a message object. And then we'll say message.add header. And for um, from, we'll say the from address. And oops, it's msg. msg. Same thing. So msg.add header to. And this will be the to address. These are just the variables that we defined above. Uh, message.add header subject. That's our subject. And then message. Oops. I messed that one up. Subject, close that. Okay, and then message msg.set payload is going to be our body. All right, so we have our message um, object here. The final thing that we wanna do is to uh, get instantiate a uh, SMTP server object, log into our server and go ahead and actually send that email. So we can do that with server equals SMTP lib dot SMTP all caps. And now this is where it's gonna be different for you. So for me, like I said, I'm using dream hosts uh, email SMTP server, so that's going to be located at smtp.dreamhost.com, and the port for that is 587. So again, this could be different for you. Now let's log into the server with server.login from, and this is the credentials for this, from address, um, and then the password, so my password is my strong password. Okay, and it says authentication successful, so we're good, we're logged in. Now all we have to do is send the email, so server.send message. We can use our message object at this point that we defined above, from address equals from a DDR, and then to address equals, and, and this it actually accepts uh, you could do multiple recipients, so in a list object to address. 
Okay, and before we send that, let's pull up the destination inbox. If you remember, can we go up here and see that? We're gonna send it to Tony at Tony Teaches dot tech and this is the email inbox for tony at tony teaches dot tech so let's go ahead and execute that line of code and uh, i spelled something wrong to a d d r what is it supposed to be it's supposed to be to a d d r to a d d r oh um right because it's plural to a d d r s okay now we'll try that again one more time this should be formatted correctly we get no output Back. Um, that's okay. Let's go over here and we see that email pop up here. So let's move this so we can see the, the subject and the, the actual content of the email. So I just sent this email from Python uh, from Tony at TonyFlirty.me to come on, get out of there, um, to Tony at TonyTeaches.tech. The subject is, I just sent this email from Python. How neat is that? So very cool, right? Like that's pretty simple. As long as you have those credentials for your SMTP server, you can go ahead and do that very, very easily. So let's, um, let's minimize this. Let's move into the second part of this tutorial, which is going to be sending an email with an attachment to it's kind of like the same way that we just did. So what I want to do is make an attachment first. So let's get out of our Python shell here and we'll just make an attachment. Um, I'll call it test.text and this it'll say this is an attachment. And this could be anything. This could be a picture, an Excel file, a Word document, anything like that. We'll, we'll just keep it simple with um, just a text file in this case. So we'll go back into our Python um, uh, shell, our Python terminal here, and we have to make sure we're using Python 3. We're still using Python 3. Um, so we're back in here, and this is where we can start issuing Python uh, code commands again. So um, to save some time here, because we went through line by line last time, I'm just going to use my cheat sheet over here to copy and paste some stuff, and we'll start again with importing different libraries. So we're going to import the SMTP library again, but this time we're also going to import a few other uh, packages, one from the OS package and then a few from the email package. So that way um, we can actually make that attachment and we'll import those. And same, same as before, we're gonna define the content of our email. So that's gonna be from Tony at TonyFlurida.me to Tony at TonyTeaches.tech. The subject is, I just sent this email and attachment from Python, and then the content is so cool, right? <laughs> so uh, we got that. And then again, similar as before, we were gonna, de we're gonna define the message itself, the message object. So that's gonna be something like this. Before it was, um, if we go back up here and look at it, before our message was message, which is a message dot message um, object. This time we're using the M I M E multi part object class. Okay, so this time it, it takes the format of a, a dictionary. So the from address we assign that to address subject, and the body is an M I M E text class object and it's plain text in this case, and then we're gonna attach to the message the body. Okay. Now let's get that uh, that attachment. So as you know, because we're in the current working directory, we can reference that without um, absolute or relative path. So our file name is test.text, and what we're gonna do is, let me paste this in here and I'll explain it to you. So we're gonna open the file name as, um, uh, we're going to rename it as F temporarily, and then we're going to define our attachment. So we're going to read the contents of our test.txt file and define a MIME application object, and define, uh, that's going to be our attachment variable, and then we are basically um, formatting it in a way that is uh, the, the email message object itself can handle. So what we're basically going to do after this is attach it to our message, just like we did with the body. So we attach the body to our email message, and now we're going to attach the attachment to our email message. And then finally, uh, three more lines of code, just like before, we're going to connect to our server, we're going to log in, and then we're going to send the message 
with that attachment. So very similar process here. Let's open up our email inbox and execute that. And we don't see any output. That is a good sign. That means there were no errors or anything like that. And we'll wait here for a few seconds and hopefully that email will pop up in our inbox and we should see the attachment too. And if it doesn't pop up in the next few seconds, I will refresh the page maybe to help it along and see if we get that in here. Nothing yet. Um, and it's possible that it could show up in the spam folder. Uh, it's not in here. So let me pause the video. Let's give it a few minutes and see if we can see that email pop up in here. All right, guys, and that took a little bit longer to send. I'm not sure why that was the case, but you can see it in here. Uh, I just sent this email and attachment from Python and uh, it's, it's the content, the that was the subject, the body says so cool, right? And then we have the attachment here. If we open that and preview it, this is an attachment. So exactly what we um, expected to see here. Guys, if you have any questions about this, let me know in the comments below. I also have a blog post with all of the code snippets that you can copy and paste into your own scripts, modify as necessary. Um, but yeah, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps with the channel. And if you wanna see more videos like this from me in the future, then definitely consider subscribing to this channel because if you do, I will see you in the next one.